Well, kia ora, my friends. So here's another uh, experiment with aircrete. I've tried a lot of different things. I haven't been really happy with anything yet. Um, it's all been very a lot of work, very fiddly. So this one here is a attempt to be able to make walls in place and um, this is a mock-up. This is not necessarily how the final thing will work, but the idea is is to have a um, fairly rigid but lightweight mold that you can um, take this layer once it's uh, done. You'll put another layer on top and then you can um, uh, jump this one to the next one above and so forth and so on. So I've just made some 3D printed little uh, support things here. You could easily make those out of a piece of wood. Just hacked up some uh, uh, scrap around to make this. And I could only get very short pieces of this rigid foam. Um, so I took some old scrap from a previous attempt uh, of some other experiments that I had done. And I'm using that to tie it all together. This whole thing is about six feet long, and I have a single layer in here of um, the polyplastic, and then a piece of the uh, uh, polypropylene, I think it is, or polyethylene uh, mesh. Very strong stuff. This will give it a lot of strength. So when this panel is done, I will be able to um, have tension on this side and compression on this side which means that it will be able to handle weight in this direction so that will help me in assembling this this uh, if this little experiment works this will end up being the roof of my experimental shed so let's see how it goes I'm gonna pour my first batch I will put a layer of sand in the bottom to create a seal um, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I've got a bucket of aircrete mixed up. Quality's a little questionable. I've got a feeling that you can't let your uh, foaming mix sit around too long. I suspect that that foaming mix was mixed up a few weeks ago, and by sitting around, it doesn't work as well, but that's only a guess. Uh, in here, in the mold, you can see there's sand in the bottom. And I don't have a tripod with me, so I'm going to turn this off, go ahead and pour the aircrete, and we'll see how much comes running out the bottom. <laughs> Hopefully not too much. But that's how we learn sometimes, by trying and seeing how it works. Okay, so I don't see any leaking around the edges, so that seems to be holding up reasonably well. And got some big bubbles coming out of the aircrete, which is means my quality is not quite as good as it could be, but it seems to be okay. My little 3D printed jigs to hold the uh, walls together are holding up. I don't see the walls bulging out too much anyway. I don't need perfection for this experiment, but would like it to not be a total loss. And got a little tiny bit of aircrete left in the bottom of the bucket, which I'll use to patch some uh, holds on the wall of the uh, shed that I'm building. So, there you go.